Uh, hey everyone, I am Sam and this is Coraline. Caroline. Here at Bear Hug Honey Company and um, today we are sampling my top 10 favorite honeys that we sell here. Um, and we're going to start off with a chestnut honey. And chestnut honey is coming from France. And it is a very interesting flavor here that we're going to get. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Uh, so chestnut has kind of like this uh, dry, bitter flavor to it. Um, on the top of the jar, it says it's really good on blue cheese. And I think that's because blue cheese is so strong um, that it kind of balances out the strong flavor of the uh, chestnut honey, which has got that kind of bitter, dry taste to it. Yeah. To me, yep. it tastes like the texture of honey with like the flavor of wood. <laughs> yes, um, I could definitely taste that. It feels like it should taste like honey, mm -hmm. um, but it's it's definitely got a bitter taste to it. We um, bit bitter. Which some people like the bitter, you know? People read Bukowski. A little dry bitter. Um, so the next one is going to be um, some people might get mad at me for putting this one so low, um, especially people in Florida or California. Um, but this one is Orange Blossom. Orange Blossom. Cheers. And you know, it's it's not bad. Um, it's good. It's but great. <laughs> it's, uh, but to me, it's kind of got like this more of a kind of like a candy flavor to it. Mm. Um, it's, so it's got a citrus zest, like very sweet, um, kind of like a candy um, sweet to it. Um, but you can taste the zest of like the orange peel in there. Mm -hmm. but no, you no comments with me. I like that one a lot. Um, and we'll do a top 10 of Coraline's favorite. To at some point. Um, so next, our third one is going to be um, coming all the way from New Zealand. It is um, Manuk. Let me come around here. This is Manuka honey. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. So Manuka honey is coming from the tea tree plant um, in New Zealand. It's about the only place in the world you get that. And um, it's going to be one of the healthiest honeys out there. But in being one of the healthiest honeys out there, it kind of tastes like one of the healthiest honeys out there. Uh, I think that one's really good. <laughs> Texture's great. It's a little bit creamy. Yep. Mm -hmm. it, it's been spun, so it's kind of got this creamy consistency to it. Um, but it's super healthy for you. And it's got more antibacterial properties than any other kind of honey. Um, and it is. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Um, super healthy for you, but I'm telling you, the taste is just going to keep getting better here. Um, so, the next one we have is a lavender honey. Um, it's a lavender honey that's coming from France. And this one is also a spun honey, but a little bit thicker consistency to it. Um, so, with spun honeys, they, what they do is they take crystallized honey and put it in liquid honey and then spin it and then it um, expands with oxygen over time after you let it sit there and it kind of gets this creamy consistency to it um, for like spreading on bagels, biscuits, waffles, that kind of thing. Hot tea, it'll melt right down in. But as you can see, it's not a liquid, it's more of like a spreadable consistency. Cheers. Oh, that's so good. So that one, it has kind of this like, almost like bright um, floral. You get like the hint of lavender in there. Um, and some people don't like, you know, like a strong lavender, but it's like a light lavender. Very light. Um, but still like a bright kind of cooling flavor almost. Yeah. Um, and that one, see? That was great, that I was agree. Great. <laughs> that, that one's great. really good. Um, 
then we got to get more of this one in. Um, we are currently out of this one, but we got we got to get more of this in because it's so good. And um, this one is Lahua, and it is coming from Hawaii. Lahua is the state tree of Hawaii, as we all know. Um, yes. And this one's so cool. It's another spreadable kind of consistency to it, but with a little liquid in there too. Um, cheers. That one's so cool. Uh, it's like a butterscotch kind mm. of flavor to it. Um, so it's it's rich, it's deep, it's a soft, creamy texture, and it's kind of like um, I mean, I really get a strong like butterscotch flavor in there. Very sweet, great texture. That's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> um, and all right, so with this one, this is I'm um, gonna be. Tasmanian Leatherwood. Um, it's coming from Tasmania um, and it's the Leatherwood tree. Um, and it's kind of, it's liquid on top and then um, kind of a creamy consistency underneath. So we're mainly going to get liquid here. Um, and it comes in this really cool jar. <laughs> Look at that. Is that a cool? They do some awesome packaging there. Um, and this one, well, here, let's taste it first. Okay. Cheers. Before it falls. I think that one's like one of the most interesting flavors um, that we have. Mm. It, you can, um, it's got kind of like a leathery taste to it. Um, one person, I remember they tried it and they described it as, um, it tastes kind of like a new car smells. Oh. <laughs> uh, so it's like maybe it's not my favorite flavor but I think it's like the most interesting flavor that we have um, I've never had any honey like it before can I be honest let's hear it I got cough drop cough drop flavor when I was trying it uh, it also well it, it does help with the throat yeah um, so any kind of sore throats not um, bad not my favorite. Not your favorite? Yep. No, not my favorite. Um, not my favorite either. Yeah. We still got a few more. We got a few more. Um, so I threw in um, kind of a wild card here. All of these honeys that we're tasting so far are just named after the flower that the bees are going to, and that's how they get their flavor. Um, but I did throw in one of our infused honeys, and we have a whole line of infused honeys, and we'll probably do a video about those uh, at some point. But um, Right now, I threw in one infused honey with this just because uh, I cook the most with this one. It's so good. Um, and this one we call our Southern Sriracha Spicy Honey. And so um, this one has, we do honey, just raw, pure honey, applewood smoked chilies in there. Um, and it's kind of in some Thai chilies and it's got this like sweet, smoky spice so it's like three different flavors um that are all coming at you at once mm -hmm. and um cheers. cheers oh that's so good <laughs> did it hit you <laughs> god it hit me uh it's so good there's uh, some spice i remember the first time i tried this one after i made it and i was like oh my gosh that's a winner um and that one's great on like chicken, salmon, cheese boards, pizza. It's one of my favorite things to do with it. On anything, bacon, eggs, um, any kind of vegetable, stir fry. Avocado toast. Avocado toast. Mm -hmm. um, I've been eating a lot of avocados lately and it's really good on avocados. All right, so that was our one wild card. Now we're gonna go back to um, just the pure honeys right here and so here, I've got um, Tupelo honey. Tupelo. Um, and some people recognize Tupelo honey from Van Morrison, Van the Man. 
Um, he sings the song as sweet as Tupelo Honey, um, which is an awesome song. Um, and it is coming from um, Wewahichka, Florida, Apalachicola. Um, it's kind of the only place in the world you get like the pure Tupelo honey. And um, this one is coming from there. It's one of the few honeys that will never crystallize, um, which is super unique about it. And it's really delicious. So let's try it here. Cheers. Oh, that's so good. Um, it's like a, mm. it's like a buttery, floral, bright, sweet to it. Um, refreshing. Yeah, <laughs> refreshing. It's like a summer yeah, honey. It's so good. <laughs> um, but Tupelo honey, if you've never had it, it's it's so good, and it is a little more expensive than the other honeys because it's hard to get. The flower only blooms for like two to four weeks out of the year tops. You gotta put the bees back kind of in the swamps because um, it's a swamp tree that grows out there. So people put the bees on like barges and pushes them out there into the water. So when that flower's blooming, you know, you only got one shot to get it throughout the whole year. Um, so Tupelo, um, it's a little more expensive, but it's definitely worth it. Tupelo is awesome. And next, um, we got honeysuckle honey. Um, this is an Italian honey that's also been spun. Um, so it's more like this kind of, this one's like a light kind of creamy. I don't know if you can see that, but that's it's like pretty a cheese pool. cool. Um, oh my gosh. And this is one of our top sellers um, right now too. Um, so this is our Italian honeysuckle, and um, I don't know if you've ever just eaten the honeysuckle right out of the flower, but it's so good, and this mm -hmm. reminds me of that um, whenever I try it. Cheers. Mm. That's so good. Very sweet. <clears throat> very sweet, sweet, very um, soft. Mm -hmm. creamy texture to it. I think it's got the best texture um, of any of them. Um, and it just melts on your tongue. Um, great on any over any kind of cheese, cheeses, cheese board, hot bread, biscuits, waffles, tea, or just like a little dessert in itself, just like a little spoonful at night. Um, just a little treat. Um, I like the texture. It's yeah, it's very smooth. Not like the Hawaii one, which has more of a rougher texture to it, right? Yeah. Very smooth. Super smooth. Um, I mean, they just keep getting better. All right. And then next, right here, um, this is kind of a wild card too. Um, so this is our Georgia wildflower. Um, and I think our Georgia wildflower is some of the best honey I've ever had. But I also want to do our local wildflower to say, you should try your local wildflower. Um, so, you know, whatever your local honey is, you should definitely um, try that. And that could be some of the best honey um, that you've ever had. But our local um, Georgia wildflower it's so good. It's like a light um, floral sweet to it. But here, mm. let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. So good. So it's not like a strong honey flavor. It's more just kind of a light floral. I get the bright to it again. Um, it's one that we had just harvested um, this past week. And I think so. What do you think of the Georgia wildflower? I agree with the bright and the floral, but I I personally get a little bit of an earthiness to it. Yeah. As well, um, but it's delicious. Very good. Um, try your local wildflower, and try our Georgia wildflower. It's so good. All right. Now we're um, very last one. This is my favorite honey in all the shop. Um, and that I've ever had. Um, so, um, 
and I've had a few. Um, over about 20 years um, working in, in hunting, um, I've had a few. So this one is, drum roll. <laughs> uh, sourwood honey um, and sourwood is so good it comes from the Appalachian Mountains um, it's the only place in the world you get that it's a tree that grows up high in the mountains so you got to take your bees up we take them to North Georgia every summer they're actually up there right now and um, they have a bear fence around them because the bears up there will go and um, knock out the hives, eat the honey, and then it's a it's a disaster. So you got to put up a bear fence to protect the bees to be able to get the sourwood honey because it only blooms in the summer uh, for you know like a month or so, and then that's it for the year. Um, so it's a regional specialty, um, and so you know people around here know about it, and then we ship it to. California, New York, and places like, um, you know, people who have tried sourwood honey and get addicted to it and want, um, can't get it there. So we do ship out of here to places um, for folks to be able to get the sourwood honey, but. It's just that good. It's just that good. Um, all right, cheers. cheers. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be great. I mean, it says everything you dreamed it would be. Yeah, <laughs> and more. Uh, so it's got this rich, um, kind of caramel, buttery flavor to it. Super smooth, not overly sweet. Mm -hmm. um, just kind of a rich, deep um, flavor that's complex. Um, but I love it because it's not like overly sweet to it, but mm -hmm. I love the caramel kind of flavor to it. Um, so smooth. And just how smooth it is. Mm -hmm. um, so right now we got our fingers crossed for a good sourwood harvest um, is happening right now. The bees just got up there. Um, so cross your fingers for us. And if you'd like to try any of these honeys, um, you can visit us online at bearhughoney.com and um, or give us a call or even better yet come see us in downtown Athens Georgia yeah <laughs> ta-da ta <-da. laughs> uh, Sam's top picks top picks <laughs> four lines will be next yeah thanks y'all